At the bottom of Cowie Mountain, off the site of Highway 441, is an uninhabited building that houses the American Museum of the House Cat. The people who normally run the museum are here at the Catman 2 shelter. I got involved with the shelter by volunteering. I started volunteering 12 years ago and I volunteered for a year and then the job kind of fell into my lap. The COVID pandemic has been a challenging time for us and for all animal shelters and We've done a lot more adoptions and also a lot more rescues, so our intake and outcome numbers have been record numbers. As far as the negative impacts, we haven't been able to do any events, we haven't been able to do any fundraising events, and having volunteers here has been a little bit challenging. I think my favorite thing at the museum is the petrified cat, because scientifically it's just kind of fascinating that the body of this cat from the medieval times from being in a chimney has been preserved so well that he's even got his whiskers still. That's incredible. Like, it's sad that little kitty died that many years ago, but the fact that we can kind of learn about things like that, you know, brings a sort of a, a beauty to death. Harold Sims is the founder and owner of the Catman 2 Shelter in Culloway, North Carolina and the American Museum of the House Cat in Silva, North Carolina. Tomorrow, Harold will be 87 years old. Um, he just had a major gastrointestinal surgery last week. Uh, he came home yesterday and he's been doing okay, but uh, you know, he's definitely weaker because he spent a week in the hospital recovering, of course. He is struggling a little bit with needing help with some things that he never needed help with before. Simple things like mobility aids and, um, you know, just help with basic life stuff. <laughs> you can't keep him sitting down. He's always wanting to go. And that's pretty admirable for someone his age. Because I feel like, you know, I'm 35 and I want to take a nap. He never wants to. <laughs> Came up, retired in 1991, came up here to a cashier's and found the cats who needed help from somebody all over the place, you know, and helped do some things. And I was giving cats up there. I showed them something in the backyard, I pulled out of an old tool shed and we lived there until we, and I got the money to move down here and I moved down here in 2000 and built the museum that I built the trophy down here. Built the house up in the front house and we built the down. We came up the trophy here in 2002. I've always had cats around here. We had chicken farm up in New York years ago. We had chicken done, you know, the cats in the chicken barn, all that sort of thing. And we had a pet cat one guy named Buzzy. He was a Persian cat. He was a, for 20 years and he died off. And then we had three or four cats all, all the time. You know, just fun to have around. Fun to have a museum way back 30 years ago. I started buying things way back then. I'd have a museum today. You know, sort of a dream I had. I don't know if I might never feel about buying for it all the time, you know, mostly art and stuff like that. But, uh, I see I was down the road someplace. We travel around buy stuff. I wanted for the museum. I got a also put an antique ball down the road. He was pregnant, so I went in the antique ball for three years, and it worked out wonderful. He came in every day, made big money on it. It was a good deal. Deal, but virus closed me up, and then I opened up since then. But some people don't want to work now. There are things in the museum. We got a real big uh, hand carved cat. Came out of London years ago. I'm down from the store here in Silver for a couple of months. I got up here. It was real big. That's Five feet tall, out of one log that's painted with the uh, paisley looking paint on it now, right now. It's a real rare, unknown where it came from, but who made it? It's way back. Carousel with eight cats on it. Densel cat, which is a rare cat made by a German, uh, German cat carousel maker, 1926. It got some French cats that were, one of them was restored. And there's not time I live in this, myself. I got eight different cats on the carousel. Pets off his small kinds of, of art. You know, they got put watercolor and etchings and you know, the scratch art and oil on canvas, oil on board. Some some large ones, some rare ones. I just bought them at yard sales or you know, art shops along the road. Or, you know, I mean, museums, on, not museum, but art shops along the roads. Now, they're very good animals. They don't uh, compete with one another like we do. They don't care about who's going to be the best cat. They just live alone together and get along pretty good. Uh, they, they don't uh, fight wars or make war with anybody else. They're 
been around for nine million years, but people came. They could live on their own. They invented the local creatures. And they're very friendly to have around the house, you know. We need a museum for the cats. There's no one, there's one in the world, one here in the uh, in Ohio, is a very small one. One here I have, it's most of them are over, overseas. They're one in Russia, Denmark, England. There are nine in the whole world that are really cat museums. It's a very rare habit museum. We had about 18,000 people came and came all up in the three years we were here, 18,000 of them, 6,000 a year or more. They came in every day. We sat there, we were busy every day. Hopefully it'll go on. I mean, if I'm here, it'll be on open sometime in the future, but if I die, I'm 87 years old now. Not going to I live, you know, I want to be out there every day, but when people have to take it over, I mean, and run it, because it's something you never see, I see again. We bring people to the county by by being here. We have a rare, very rare cat museum at very busy highway. I'm not really sure about the future of the museum right now because of Harold's health and him wanting to keep it closed until he's able to be there himself and then and also train somebody how to how to run it the way that he wants it to be run. Um, so I'm not really sure, but I do think I. I do feel that in the future, perhaps not the near future, but in the future, we will be able to get that museum open. And I think it will be spectacular. I think it will be popular. And I think that he will be happy with the results. No one knows when the museum will open again, but at least for now, these cats are happy.